Pergeron. Um, well, it's Gary with Wolf River Cam, and we're with, uh, you want to introduce yourself? Hi. She says hi. I'm Jen Hayes from National Geographic Magazine. And I guess in short, uh, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? <laughs> well, first I'll admit, I have to I have to confess that I am a sturgeon geek, so that might lead you, that might be the first clue why I'm here, but National Geographic is, uh, is doing a story on, uh, a global story on sturgeon, and it happens, as many people in Wisconsin would know, that Wisconsin is one of the centers of gravity for sturgeon on the planet. This, this center of gravity is Lake Sturgeon, and uh, I knew about this from my way back days, and when we wrote the proposal, we wrote in Wisconsin, and I said to the editors, you've got to see it. It's a cultural phenomena here. It's not just about the fish. It's a cultural phenomena. I, and we'll, well, we certainly would agree. Um, where are you guys from? I myself, um, I, I dragged my partner, my husband. He's a he's my partner above and below water. His name's David Dubois. He's been at National Geographic. You ready for this? Five decades, um, oh. and I I know. And I we come from the St. Lawrence River in upstate New York, a really cool place, a really cool place called the Thousand Islands. We have sturgeon there, but you have thousands, and we have. Well, sadly, we don't have thousands. You have them all. Wisconsin has all the sturgeon. We do. Uh, we got a market on them. Mm -hmm. um, not per se, but we got them. <laughs> yeah, em. you guys At are. At one time, we had a market on them. But you guys anyway. are sturgeon, sturgeon rich. We're sturgeon poor. Um, how long have you been here? Um, we were supposed to come for three days. Okay. I'm not sure what we budgeted into the project. I think we had two or three shooting days, but we arrived last Friday night. And uh, hey, Gary, what day is it today? It's uh, Sunday. So a week and two days so far. Okay. And we're talking about, like, are those fish done spawning in Shawano? Because I can't pull myself out of here. I'm, uh, I think I have cement feet here. Right, right. Yeah. What's um, some of the things that really stuck out? Other than sturgeon, bamboo bend, what are some of the things that stuck out in the communities, whether New London or Shiacton or Shawano? The numbers. Again, I was here way back in the early, late 90s. Okay. And uh, when I was... I studied sturgeon for my graduate degree in the way back days, and that's how I, I got attached to them, and I never became unattached to sturgeon. And I came out here and I saw thousands, and I got back in the car and I was really quiet and sad because we didn't have, we don't have thousands, but we now are rebuilding our stocks. What always stands out here to me, every, no, it just is the connection to people. So you have families you have hot dates that happen here you have picnics that happen here i i talked to like someone in um in in on the sturgeon trail there were four generations in one like group and four generations there that and then some spearfish some don't little kids that are coming out for the first time because mom and dad came out for 30 you know for so their dad took them it's that connection it's it's wonderful and it's uh it could be weird and wonderful because you're connected a whole community and it's not just a community here it's like people drive from everywhere to see this well it, it, what's really interesting about the springtime of year when when people come up to see the sturgeon you know locally we we can take them for granted sometimes because we mm -hmm. can see them pretty much whenever we want you know for the most part in the springtime and it's good to see somebody that's that excited and enthusiastic as no, it's you and David are, and, and the the uh, maybe you. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's it's um. they're an insanely cool. Fa I mean, they okay, they survived. They survived the mass extinctions, only to meet humans and then crash. That doesn't give us, you know, a big badge of honor, does it? No, give humans a big badge of honor. And they just, um, they live so long and they take so long to reproduce, and they could outlive us easily. They're equally our size. David and I have this really, the ability, it's an honor, it's a privilege, it's a joy for me. I mean, I squeal when I go underwater and I'm on the spawning bed it's next to spawning sturgeon and I watch them go over. We're at 42 feet where our spawn, yours are spawning in like, you know, parking lots. Ours are spawning at 42 feet. But they sound like thunder where we, where they spawn in the St. Lawrence River and I'm down there with them and they're like, boom, 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 boom. And then you get eggs and sperm on you and it sticks and I call it being spooged and then so then the females stop and then they come back and then they'll they'll just lazily eat next to you with their tubular mouths hitting the hitting the bottom the substrate boom 
and then you know there's debris and and stuff coming out of their gills and you're it's like swimming with a dinosaur no that's a lie it's like swimming with a sturgeon sure it's a uh, it's uniquely very special to me we all have an obsession right yes mine's sturgeon i think awesome I have to think. Well, I thank you guys for coming in here. Uh, there's certainly been a lot of Facebook posts of saying, hey, National Geographic's here. You know, we're just a town of 900, uh, you know, mm -hmm. maybe a thousand or so people around us. That's kind of a big deal for us. Just well, to I've stalked think a that lot. One might I've, be probably, known or I've probably so. stalked. You say you're a town of 900. I've probably stalked 427 of them. Sure. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Thanks again, Jen. Appreciate it. Gary Wolf, River Cam. Uh, we'll All see right. you guys soon. All right. Thank you. Mm hmm.